Life is a stream of events which can go the other way at any moment. The whole universe follows the rule of entropy, which basically means anything that is in order will gradually decline into disorder. It's just nature's way. One of the best examples of entropy is when you leave your house abandoned and return to it after a decade later. The house is just not going to be at its best and things are going to be falling off the walls. But you don't need to go away for 10 years for things to go awry. Things can go wrong at any given moment. Today, we'll be going over 10 times when things didn't go quite as planned and turned into a disaster. Let's get to it. If you like similar content, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such videos. Here we go. One too many coconuts. We've grown up watching martial arts movies and often fantasized about pulling off the same moves like the experts. The world of martial arts is a delicate balance between strength and humility, which makes the whole thing even cooler. We bet this guy has been dreaming of becoming a true master while growing up and today is his big chance. In front of a live television crew, he will attempt to chop 90 coconut shells in under a minute. He's got everything arranged and prepared and all he has to do is get chopping. The clock is on and he's ready. He chops the first one and sets the tone for the rest of the challenge. The chop lands, but coconut shell remains whole. Not a big deal and he moves to the second one. This time he gets it bent but not sliced in half. He moves on again and he misses the third and then the fourth. He only has 86 more to go, but by now his hands are hurting. He's chopping the iron beam supporting these coconuts more than the coconuts themselves. It's almost as if he has never done this before. Poor guy had to bear the pain as well as the shame of him failing miserably on live TV. Martial Arts Exposed He is another master of the martial ways, but unlike the previous guy, this one is a true master. Bruce Silver has been a student and teacher of Shaolin Kung Fu for years, and he is certain he will achieve the impossible today. His promise to the nation? Breaking a concrete slab weighing 21.2 pounds. Bruce is in a live studio with a host and he tells him he will be ramping up the difficulty even more. That's just amateur stuff. Bruce is going to slice it down by transferring the power of his strike through a drinking glass which he'll be holding in his hand. Sounds like a tall order, but anything is possible for this Shaolin master. Bruce has the glass ready and in a swift and controlled motion breaks the concrete as promised. All this by using just the force transferred through the glass. The host, being blown away by the stunt, wanted to check out the neighboring concrete slab and unexpectedly, the block crumbled away like it's nothing. Turns out they were just porous prop slabs. This Shaolin master is a master of conning, if anything else. Base Jump Plunge No expert of any art is fully safe from potential dangers. This is especially true for death-defying stunts performed for the shock value. You can calculate all the possible scenarios in advance and still mess up really bad. Professional base jumper and gymnast Richard Henriksen learned this the hard way and lived to tell the tale another day. He attempts a daring stunt on national television where he'll be performing gymnastic stunts on a bar bolted on the edge of a 3,937-foot-high cliff. Just the view from here gives you the goosebumps, but Richard is an expert and has done similar performances before. It starts off great and he manages to do a lot of moves with poise, but things turned ugly in an instant. The bar twisted like a straw and Richard was thrown off the edge and he disappeared down the cliff. The crew couldn't believe what was happening nor could the live audience present there. But the camera from the other angle captures the miraculous escape. Richard manages to narrowly miss the cliff face while plummeting 4,000 feet and deployed his emergency parachute just in time and safely made it out alive. That was a real close call. Cybertruck Launch Elon Musk is probably the most talked about person of our time. The man is incredible and always pushing the limits of what is possible in the field of innovation and technology. So, it's no surprise when Elon Musk promises something, he delivers. Well, mostly. When Tesla announced their new creation, the Cybertruck, the company and Elon himself were very excited to show it to the world through a grand live demonstration. Hundreds of people gather to witness the unveiling of the Cybertruck and what it is capable of. For experiment one, Elon calls upon a guy with a sledgehammer and asks him to make a dent on the truck. The results were impressive as the truck held its own. Experiment 2 showcased a steel ball being released from a height and breaking a regular car glass. Tesla then shows the same steel ball being thrown 10 times as high as before onto a Tesla armor glass, and the result was astounding. The crowd was with Tesla so far. 
Confident by the display till now, Elon asks the volunteer to throw the steel ball at the Cybertruck's window, and guess what happened? To Elon's surprise and to everyone's, it cracked, and not just once, but twice, for both windows. All that build-up came crashing down to an unfortunate anticlimactic end. It's okay, Elon, you'll figure it out as you always do. Snowboarding Premature Celebration Being an Olympic-level athlete isn't just about the physical aspect, but also the mindset. You can train for years and build up your strength and endurance, but none of that matters if you don't have the mental fortitude to remain level-headed during key moments. It seems Lindsay Jacobellis, an American snowboarder, didn't quite nail the remaining level-headed part. During an Olympic race, Lindsay and her four competitors start off even, but soon two of them lose to the snow and fall off the race. Now it's just Jacobellis and her close second. Being very certain of her approaching win, Jacobellis decides to pull a method grab in mid-air to finish the race in style. Maybe that was a bit too much, since Jacobellis lost her balance during the grab and falls down, allowing the other participant to nab the gold right under her nose at the very last moment. What a shame indeed. The Kinetic King's Worst Nightmare Getting into America's Got Talent is a big deal for many. The show is packed with all kinds of talent and the promise of a better life after it is tempting. The Kinetic King was such a contestant and had a lot of dreams and hopes on AGT. He managed to breeze through previous rounds and this was his biggest display of them all. There's a lot of anticipation and excitement in the air since the judges and the audience were already familiar with Kinetic King's unique skill. The show starts off with a performance from his assistants and then when the final moment came for the man of the hour to pull the trigger, nothing happened. He then tries again, but it was a bust. In order to salvage his 36-hour setup, he tries to manually set them off. Nick Cannon also assists him, but the show is over for the Kinetic King. You got a feel for the guy, since he had such a nice attitude about the whole thing, even though the disappointment in his face was clear as day. The Kinetic King shall return again. Face ID Fail It comes as no surprise that Apple products are well-loved and praised by tech geeks world over. They've been spearheading mobile technology for a long time and their public demonstrations of new features always go viral. So did this one, though not for the same reason. A few years ago, the senior vice president of Apple, Craig Federighi, was live on stage in front of a big audience and was demonstrating the upcoming Face ID feature. The hype and the excitement was palpable, but when it finally came to the big moment, it was a failure. It failed thrice, forcing Craig to resort to Pasco to access the phone. Finally, when Craig did manage to open the phone using the Face ID feature, he received an obligatory applause from the audience. Not so satisfying an applause, unfortunately. At least Apple redeemed themselves once the new generation hit the stores. Barney's Bitter End Parades are fun, especially the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, an American tradition that has been bringing people together for over a century. It's an exciting place to be filled with energy and tons of parade floats, these massive floats are helium-filled and require a crew of people on ground tethering them in place while moving with the parade. But things went a little out of hand during the 1997 parade when a gust of powerful wind pulled the strings holding Barney the Dinosaur's float out of its crew's hands. With very few ropes tethered in place, Barney started waving around violently in the wind, scaring the children gathered around that day. The wind eventually tore through the float and Barney was out of commission for the rest of the parade. I guess it wasn't Barney's year this time. Balloon Fest Disaster There are rarely any negative associations with balloons. These floating rubber bags have always been part of good times and fun. The city of Cleveland wanted to bank on the fun aspect of balloons and decided to make it happen. And what exactly did they do? Oh, just a little project where they got 2,500 volunteers from the city to inflate 1.5 million balloons. That's a pretty modest project, right? The city wanted to break the record of releasing the most number of helium balloons in one go. At least, that was the plan initially. But things didn't go quite as expected. On the big day, the weather took a turn and the city was forced to release the 1.5 million balloons earlier than scheduled. The spectacle took off magnificently, but there was a problem. The weather got worse and it started raining. The idea was that the balloons would pop once they reached a high enough altitude, but the rain prevented them from popping and they just kept ascending. Chaos ensued after this since the balloons were everywhere in the city. It was causing car crashes, the airport had to be shut down due to flight risks, and unfortunately emergency services had to be halted as well, which resulted in the death of two men who perished at sea. In the end, Cleveland's 1.5 million balloon dream was returned in kind with a multi-million dollar lawsuit. 
Ouch. And that's all of them. In times when things didn't go quite as planned, let us know in the comments about your favorite pick of the lot. Before we let you go, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.